Hello everybody, my name is Maria Shiweda. I am Maria the Prophet. Today in this video, I would like to honor my country. I would like to give tribute to my country, my motherland, Namibia. For those who do not know, Namibia is situated in the southern region of Africa. It sits right on top of South Africa. It's bordered by the Atlantic Ocean on the west side. Uh, it's the country with the desert that runs right from the ocean, from the Atlantic Ocean. That is Namibia. But it has another desert on the east side where it is bordered by Botswana. Direct north, Namibia has Angola as its neighbor. And on the northeast, we have Zambia and Zimbabwe. So that is Namibia, my motherland, the land of the brave. That is the title of the national anthem of Namibia. So join me in singing the national anthem of my country, Namibia, the land of the brave. Please, I apologize, my voice. So I am trying, as you can probably tell, this is taking me back to the early years of 2000. I sang my national anthem every single day of my life until I came here years later. Then I didn't get to sing it, but I sang the national anthem of Namibia every single day of my life, sometimes twice. And then I sang the African Union anthem every single day. And at the time, I knew physically, naturally, I knew I could not sing, but there was that force that made me sing. So I was aware I was singing, but when I wanted to sing on my own, I just couldn't sing. But I sang, and uh, it was only sometime in 2018, I realized that all these songs were locked up in my chest. And when I was under prayer from the Synagogue Church of All Nations, one time, it was my national anthem that was unlocked. The person is busy praying for me, and I'm busy singing my own national anthem. So I, I had to record it, and, I, and that happened to the uh, African Union anthem too, and all other songs that I sang where, while I was young, they all were locked up in my chest, and they all came out um, during the prayer, prayers of the Synagogue Church of All Nations, or after I got angry, if there was a change in my emotions, I would just start singing and I would be singing for hours and hours and hours. So please join me in honor the country of my birth, my motherland, the land of the brave, Namibia. Namibia, land of the brave, freedom fight we have won. Glory to their bravery, whose blood waters our freedom. We give our love and loyalty together in unity, contrasting beautiful Namibia, Namibia, our country. Beloved land of Savannah, hold high the band of liberty. Namibia, our country. Namibia, motherland. We.
I apologize for my voice. I just you you can you can hear as I speak. Uh, that's the best I could do. But thank you so much for joining me in singing the national anthem of my country, Namibia. So now coming to the message that I have for Namibia. This message came unexpectedly sometime last year. That is the year 2020. Sometime in October last year, there was a day I was supposed to take uh, my driver's license, uh, like the test. So now I didn't get to practice. I was coming out of the city and uh, I didn't have a license and I needed a license to live out here. So people didn't drive in New York City, so yeah. So now, I failed that test three times already. But this time, an attack came. I was fighting the elite. When I'm talking about the elite here, I'm talking about billionaires and millionaires. But I'm really talking about billionaires, the majority. So now, here is the war. And I got very angry. Now, remember, I had failed the test already. And I knew how I failed. So this time, there was a change in my emotion because I didn't want to go and fail that test again. For the fourth or so, third or fourth time, I did not want that. So I started fighting. Matter of fact, I started in a store. That was started in a store and came to continue at home. So I fought with all that I could. I did. I threw every punch I could and I sang. So it was intense war. Matter of fact, I have it on camera. I, before, because I thought, when I came home, I thought I was just going to go on with my day. So I wanted to, like I wanted to do my hair. I was using now the phone, like to see how things are looking. Because as I did that, the war broke out to like the levels that I cannot really explain. Intense war broke out. And then... They were querying me. I, I was now angry. Like, whom are you talking to? So I started singing right there and then. I sang in my own language. Now imagine how angry you can be to be. I'm in a foreign country where they speak English here. So I don't get to speak my language that, that much. But I sang in my own language. That's how... Like, that's how intense that war was. And uh, I didn't, like, it It just came naturally like that. So uh, I threw punches. I did everything. So I went to sleep. And uh, it was as if I was just slumped into that sleep. All I was seeing, maggots, big and small, coming off me like just imagine a big wind blowing them off off me it was a lot even off the shoes that I had when I lived in New York so I was like whoa but before I know I got the message actually I got two messages the one that I for my license and the other one which was about my country, Namibia. And the message said, and the message said, this flag now belongs to the owner. It now belongs to my country. It now belongs to Namibia. They had a flag but it, it really did not belong to them yet. 
spiritually somebody else owned that flag for their country and uh, yeah that was the message I was given this was October and I was told to tell Namibia that as of October 19 18 and 19 your flag belongs to you as of October 19 18 and 19 your flag belongs to you Namibia and that is the message and this is the message I am giving to my country I am just letting them know actually but um, it has already been done way back last year I I was I had included the message in the video that I was supposed to record way back in December where I had all the events of the world recorded but uh, I didn't get to post that so when I get to post that whole video I'll just post the whole video uh, you get to say that it was one of the events so Honoring my country is such a beautiful thing. It's such there's so much joy in my heart It's my motherland. There is no Other feeling that can beat that but uh, It's one lucky country. It's the luckiest country in the world in the whole world Namibia is the luckiest country ever. I I, I am I feel the privilege of just being born in that country. <laughs> There's nothing, no joy can beat that in any sense. Now, this story did not uh, just come up as is. And I came to find out it was uh, actually linked to an event that took place way back in 2019, which was the year before. Way back in October 2019, a day came after some heaviest war. This was the time I was always seeing myself on my knees. On my knees. I was wearing, I was always wearing um, like a white gown with all purple in it and then uh, around my neck I had a purple just purple solid purple something around my neck and I was always always and I mean daily I was seeing myself on my knees sometimes when I was not on my knees there would be a, a little crowd of people a group of people not not really big and I would be standing uh, I was standing in front of them because I guess I'm, I'm, I'm because I'm short. So, um, yeah, but after that, like during that time in October, a day came when after some intense war, I found myself, I was just like slumped into like a deep sleep. Broad daylight. And then I found myself going downstairs. It's some stairs, downstairs. And when I saw now, when I came all the way down, but not on the ground yet, I was presented with the, the ocean shore. It was all ocean. So now before I could uh, step on the soil itself, on the shore itself, I see a man who seemed to just have come out of the ocean he looked like he was lost or something, didn't belong there or something, or he was wondering about something or he was looking for directions. I couldn't really tell, I couldn't make out exactly, but that was the look on the face. The man stared at me and I was now looking at him, but as I was looking at him, I'm looking at this other copy of myself, like, the person looks like me, the person looks like he belongs, like is related to me. Uh, but as I'm thinking like that, he's also thinking, I'm seeing that he's also thinking. I'm seeing it, like, I don't know how to explain it. He's also thinking, I'm seeing through him like that. So, and him himself, he's, 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 he's saying, who is who is this? Then because he has never seen me before, he has never seen the physical me before, so he didn't know me, but he knew 
somehow was related to him. And then, uh, and then right there and then, before I know, he, he, he went into the spirit. Like he, he, he was shot into the spirit. He's now trying to see who I was in the spirit. He's trying to find the, the answer to his question. So he went into the spirit uh, and then he found my name. He found out who I was. Then he said, Maria, this is Maria. So I said, yes, that's, that, this is me. Then, then we hugged. I gave him a hug, like, we hugged. So, and then after that, I was now there standing like, could this be true? I'm still in the spirit right there, and I'm still asking myself, could this be true? So is he my father? So that was the very, very first time I met my father. I have never seen even a picture of my father before. Um, he was, I was born during an intense war in my country. And um, what was happening to him, I was born to a very, very hard-headed man. I came to know that from word of mouth. I pretty much get to know about my father <laughs> through the word of mouth. What I saw, that was not the first time I saw him. I, I then came to see him afterwards. But this whole thing, uh, you are going to know more about this when I get to post the video on the United nations there is a lot to say there is a lot to say like i have a lot to say so i'll be posting a video about the united uh the united nations the video about namibia and the video about him himself uh my father so yeah that was now the year 2019 and during that time was also the time I was given that the year 2020 will be the year of harvest. To the whole world, that was not a year of harvest. This was the year where every family cried. Every family was affected in this or the other way. At not any choice of their own. They had to experience something very negative. But to me, God said that was the year of my harvest. So, but if you remember in my previous videos, I said the year 2020 was my year of internship. I had just graduated. I, I was, that was my after training practicals. So I was seeing myself in, like, amongst the harvests during that time in 2019. And uh, it was a lot of divine events that time. Like, a lot. But, yeah, uh, I thank you for joining me in giving honor to my country, in delivering the message to my country. And uh, I just appreciate it so much. There are no words to describe my appreciation for joining me. Uh, Namibia is my motherland and I am very, very happy to have been born there. Uh, it's a privilege. Um, and this is a pregnant statement. It's such a beautiful country. It is a country of honor. Uh, not just because it's my country. That's just a pregnant statement. So the world is going to know later why this is. And as you go, uh, don't miss those three videos, uh, especially. And then you get to have your views and put the whole story together and, and get to understand bit by bit. Uh, again, Namibia is a country that is... In, in, in the continent of Africa. So I would like for you to join me in singing the African anthem. 
And like I said, these are songs that I had been singing daily uh, in the early 2000s. First thing I woke up, I sang the national anthem. I sang the African Union anthem. So I would be happy if you can join me again. And I apologize for my voice, even just to speak. It's so hard, but I, I have to get this done today. <laughs> And just before we sing or you join me in singing the African Union anthem, I would like to say something, just a few words. During that year, 2019, by the t towards the end of 2018, that was when God started giving me my own songs. So when all these songs were... So... When when I was under prayer with the Synagogue Church of All Nations, all these songs were, at the time, were locked up in my chest. Church songs, uh, my national anthem, my African Union anthem, all these songs were locked up in my chest and they only came out during prayer. So I started singing them. So the year 2019, I sang my national anthem so many times. I would spend the whole day just singing the national anthem. I would spend the whole day just singing the African anthem. But at the time, you see how you are hearing me now sounding as. That's how... Actually, yes, I, I am sounding better now because at least the voice is coming out. At the time, it, it felt there was no air coming through my throat. Just... To produce the voice at all so I, I i had to sing a lot a lot a lot and for long and long 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 hours a day a week singing my national anthem and the african union anthem uh, that year 2019 uh, i found myself connected to uh like to the higher-ups in my country. Yeah, I was able to connect to to the higher-ups in my country. I'm talking about the founding fathers of the country, uh, Dr. Uh, His Excellency Dr. Sam Noyoma. I got connected to him, and this was the time I'm on my knees and I'm amongst the harvest, like harvest, this is 2019, and still singing my national anthem and uh, was connected to the to the higher ups in my country and that was not the first time even sometime this year as back in august actually um so it, it, it's such a privilege a it's such a it's such an honor for me to be able to speak such of my country or to experience such of my country, Namibia, the land of the brave. So it's a privilege to have just been born in my country, Namibia, the land of the brave. But it's a, it's also a great honor to be able to speak such of my country, to have seen what I have seen of my country, the before and the after. So I'm able to speak about the before and the after uh, independent Namibia. So it, it's such an honor. I am the first generation of independent Namibia. It used to be called Southwest African Namibia. Uh, we were given as a, a protectorate to South Africa. Uh, and uh, it didn't go well. So Namibia... Namibians did not like the treatment, so they went to war until they won the independence in 1990. And March 21st, 1990, that was the day Namibia celebrated its first independence day. So I just thank you for coming along with me in honoring my country, my motherland, Namibia. So Namibia is located in the continent of Africa. So join me in singing the African Union anthem. Let us all unite and celebrate together. 
Then victory is won for our liberation. Let us dedicate ourselves to rise together to defend our liberty and unity. Whoa, sons and daughters of Africa, flesh of the sun and flesh of the sky. Let us make Africa the tree of life. Let us all unite and sing together to uphold the bonds that frame our destiny. Let us dedicate ourselves to fight together for lasting peace and justice on earth. Whoa, sons and daughters of Africa, flesh of the sun and flesh of the sky, let us make Africa, the tree of life. Let us all unite and toil together to give the best we have to Africa. The cradle of mankind and fun of culture, our pride and hope at break of dawn. Whoa, sons and daughters of Africa, flesh of the sun and flesh of the sky, let us make Africa the tree of life. Let us make Africa, the tree of life. Thanks everybody for listening. Thank you for being along with me in honoring my country, the continent Africa, and just sharing with you who Maria the prophet is and where she is actually coming from. How is she getting all this information? What kind of information? Uh, just thank you. Again, my name is Maria Shiwena. I am Maria the prophet. Thanks for watching.